Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Visha and if this is your first time tuning in, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you are an oldie but goodie, thank you for coming back. <laughs> so in this video guys, you're going to be watching me pack. Yes, you're going to be watching me pack. So I hope that this gives any motivation to anybody who needs to pack right now and who also needs to declutter their space okay and also with this i am going to be giving you some tips so along the way you might have some bonus tips in there as well but just sit back relax watch the video pack along with me if you need to declutter along with me if you need to put me up on your flat screen tv in your living room clean up something cook something let's just get it done <laughs> Or you could just like, you know, sit in your bed and just watch it while you're laying down, you know, at nighttime. Hey, that works too. But anyway, <laughs> I hope this video give you guys the motivation that you need. So let's start with tip number one. Declutter your space before packing. I'm definitely going to say this has been helping me out so far with packing. And the reason that it's helping me out is because I am getting rid of things that I do not need, that is no longer useful to me. If I need to donate it, I donate it. If it is trash and it cannot be donated, I seriously, I just go ahead and I throw it away. I am decluttering my space before I pack it up. I don't want clutter. I don't want junk moving into my new house. So make sure you guys declutter your space before moving go through every single thing everything and if you don't need it throw it away tip number two what have been helping me as well is labeling all of the boxes whether they are heavy or not make sure you guys make sure you label the boxes and I'm gonna say this tip was helpful to me because I had to go in the craft closet that closet was already packed up and I needed something out of the craft closet and tell me why I undid all the boxes only because I labeled them craft boxes because I was looking for one particular thing yeah devastated labor the boxes not only will that help you know what's in it it helps you know where it needs to go and so i'm just gonna say an example like right now with me doing this game box um i put on this box games like family fun games i put on this box so i know that this is all of our board games in this box okay and also um here too as you can see i left some games out in the background because we have fun friday which is fried chicken fridays for my husband and my daughter and for me since i'm vegan it is a buff fried buffalo bites um cauliflower bites with french fries and we do have fun friday with my husband with playing you know family games even if it's just an hour i that's why i left those games out but still make sure you label every single thing like just label it it's gonna help you in the long run okay tip number three go to the stores and ask people for boxes it does not hurt to ask I'm going to tell you guys how proud hearted I am. Me and my dad was on the phone and I was letting him know. It was, this was like three weeks ago. I was in the store and I was letting him know. I was like, I need boxes. He was like, Visha, go ask for boxes. <laughs> and I was like, I could just go get them out of the recycling bin, right? He was like, no. <laughs> go ask somebody for a box. You guys, I hate asking people for things. Not because of the rejection. It's just because it's a pride thing. I'm very pride. Like, I'm very prideful. So, I asked the lady for the boxes. She told me to go to the back. This was at the RPX. Long story short, guys, ask for boxes. I had one girl who worked every Thursday at 11 o'clock told me to come in for the past three weeks. And she's like, I got you boxes. Like, I got you with boxes. The girl gave me so many boxes that I didn't even have to go buy 
any boxes that's how much of boxes she gave me bubble wrap paper and all like different sizes of boxes it doesn't matter it is free go ask for boxes also my cousin gave me some boxes she gave me like her home depot boxes she didn't even use half of them so what I still end up doing, because if I would have bought all these boxes, I would end up paying for them, right? I just gave my cousin some money because all of the boxes that she, like majority of half of the boxes that she gave me were not used, okay? So it doesn't hurt to ask for boxes. Don't be prideful. They're either going to say yes or they're either going to say no. And in both of my cases, both people said yes. So I was grateful for that. That saved me money. Also, buy the supplies. Guys, you're, I'm going to tell you something. You don't you don't know what you need while you're packing and until it's time to pack. Trash bags. Make sure you have enough of trash bags. So either it's trash, you're donating it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you have enough of trash bags. Also, uh, buy tape. Make, guys, make sure you have tape, a whole bunch of tape. I only had two things of tape. We ran out. I had to go to Sam's Club this past Sunday and buy more tape. So make sure you buy tape. Uh, moving paper. I was, guys, don't be cheap. I was being cheap and I said I was going to use newspaper. Mm -mm. Go get some moving paper. Newspaper quality, it tears. It's not thick like how it used to be, like that good quality back then i'm aging myself shut up but anyways <laughs> get some good quality packing paper so i got a packing paper from harbor freight and i also got packing paper from um sam's club okay so make sure you get good packing paper we bought bubble wrap from sam's club and also from um harbor freight and also a moving blankets that we bought from harbor freight and shrink wrap i bought that from home depot okay so make sure you have those things it's essential to have those essential to have those things and tv boxes guys make sure you have tv boxes because you don't want your your tvs to break a crack especially with these newer flat screen tvs now just make sure you have what you need okay tip number four use your plastic bins for storage in your suitcases okay now the closet that i'm showing you right now guys we had bins in there that we have not used since we were stationed in fort hood which was five years ago if we have not used that stuff five years ago, that it was still packed up, why we need it, right? So we cleaned out the bins and now we have extra bins to put our stuff in. So make sure like this, that goes back to decluttering your space before packing it up. I told my husband this stuff was packed for the past five years. We're not going to our new home with this same stuff that's in these boxes that we're not using. So we cleaned it out. And we, we, we cleaned it out and we reused it for something else, okay? So use your bins in our suitcases. I put clothes in my suitcases, shoes in these suitcases. Use your suitcases. If you need to put like your beauty products or whatever you need to put in your suitcases, use your suitcases as storage. And this is why I'm telling you this. Because guys, when you're traveling on the road, you're not going to be living out of a big suitcase, right? Because you're going from one house to probably like a hotel for a couple of days to the next house. Don't pack so much stuff. This is a bonus tip. Don't pack so much stuff that you're overwhelmed in the hotel when it's time to pack up that hotel. Put the stuff back in the truck and then move to your house, okay? Because we're taking a road trip. We have to do a road trip from here from um, Fort Bliss to our new location okay and with that being said I am taking like the little carry-on suitcases and that's what I'm putting our clothes in and if I need to wash I will probably just wash at that hotel or you know it to me it doesn't matter like four pants four shirts underclothes two brush toothpaste stuff to wash our face right 
and to wash our body off you know soap towel whatever you need you don't need that much stuff so these big suitcases that you do have if you are driving like we are driving put stuff in there pack stuff in there if it goes in your room put it in there like so right now I'm just gonna give you an example in my suitcases I have my crystals I have my tarot cards I have like some of my journals um, I have clothes I have my sage my incense all of that stuff I have like tucked away in my suitcases I have my summer clothes in my suitcases because I know when I get to where I'm going um, I'm not gonna need it I put my winter clothes in my dresser so just think Think of ways to create more space with less with less effort, if that makes sense. So work smarter, not harder. Okay. I kind of went on a little rant with that one. <laughs> All right. Now tip number five. Give yourself enough time to pack and take your time. Do not rush it and ask for help if you need help just ask for help i didn't realize how much crap we had until now it's time for us to move our past two duty stations um somebody moved us okay so we were got spoiled having other people pack up our stuff but when you have to pack up your own crap take your time honestly take your time it is going to get overwhelming you're going to get tired you're going to get exhausted you're going to want to get lazy if you decide that you want to get lazy take a break it's nothing wrong with you taking a break but take your time set a set time when you're going to pack give yourself an hour take a break give yourself two hours take a break but just make sure you take your time so you know that you're packing your stuff the right way if you need so i'm going to give you an example with my crystals all of my crystals i wrapped them with shrink wrap and then i wrapped them again with bubble wrap you want to take your time with doing stuff like that okay with my plates and stuff i haven't showed you guys this yet but i am going to do a video with me packing that stuff I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack it. I'm going to take my time. I know right now that I am overwhelmed. I'm not going to touch something if I'm overwhelmed because I don't want it to break. I don't want to go out and spend unnecessary money when we get to where we're going because I decided to be lazy and pack it wrong. So take your time. If you have small kids and they want to help you, let them help you like with books and toys and stuff because it's books and toys. Um, they don't break so easily, but like things that you know that are not replaceable that you like know that you only have one of, you do it yourself. But again, just take your time with doing so. And then my final tip that I have for you, you guys is it's a bonus tip is when you get ready to move in, uh, make sure you have a bonus box, like a move in box. So I'm going to have a move in box, which is actually going to be in my car. And that's going to be like probably one of the first boxes that I pull out. It's going to have our blankets that we're going to need for the night. It's going to have toiletries, pots and pans, probably some like little canned foods or whatever that I can just whip up my Instapot, all that type of stuff. Just make sure you have a box uh, ready to move in box, paper towel, toilet paper, soap, um, whatever you think that you're going to need for that first night. Make sure you have that box. And also, if say for instance um somebody is coming to ship your stuff for you and you're flying still have that box so when you guys get when you guys do get your stuff that is like one of the first things that you guys can take out even though you probably might already be established if you're military like sometimes you get to a place like two months before your storage gets to you still make sure you have a box that will still you know help you like because you know like okay this is what we actually need need for right now because i know sometimes with military families you're living on temporary um you're living on temporary items okay so yeah guys like i said that was my last um 
tip that I had for you guys today and I honestly hope that you enjoyed this video packing with me I hope you put me up on your screen tell me what you have done while watching this video if this was motivation enough for you if you enjoyed the tips if you are good at packing um leave some tips down below so for anybody else who has any further questions or anything else they know exactly what to pack as well so again thank you guys for tuning in today's video peace